Hi! Are you like a children's TV presenter? <laughs> Hi, everyone. We're watching Snog Mario Avoid. We're watching Snog Mario Avoid today. Alex has never watched it somehow. I always saw it advertised on BBC Three, but I've yeah. always managed to miss it. Probably because <sighs> it was past my bedtime. You've always managed to avoid it. Now it's time to snog and marry it. Uh <laughs> He said it! He said it! That's why I always say, um... Don't finish that sentence. No, I'm not going to. Let's just watch the show. <laughs> One, two, three. Off the bat, that's a safety hazard. Uh, you know, like, when you're in the boys' changing rooms and somebody, like, gets a can. Not got a prop here. Prop alert. Need or need or prop alert. Yeah. Yeah. So that is what I need. Thank you. Cool. I just said, that seems like a safety hazard. And you go, we 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 pop alert. I'm tearing up. Yeah, that's useful actually. Did you just spray it on your nipple? Yeah, they're stinky. Have you ever seen those girls who wear too much makeup, too much false tan, big hair extensions and daft long nails? All of them. Yeah. Slags. 10 out of 10. Oh. Oh. Ooh, very different taste in women. Mine look and are men. <laughs> and think how great they'd look without it all. Well, this is the show for you. The girls of the UK are drowning in fakery and they really don't need it. These girls don't need a makeover, they need a make under. Could you imagine, right, somebody comes up to you on the street and goes, we need you guys for some B-roll because we think you guys are pretty fucking ugly. I mean, they all look beautiful. Of course, apart from that one that looked like a clown. <laughs> this is Pod, your personal overhaul device. Hello, Pod. Hello, Jenny Frost. What is your mission, Pod? My mission is to reveal a nation of stunning natural beauties. You're in the wrong place for that in England. <laughs> We've gone to prison Birmingham <laughs> to find the most naturally beautiful women on the entire planet. A robot came from space to find the prettiest women on the planet. It would go to like Brazil, the South America, somewhere yeah. like that, you know. Drop down in Dudley. <laughs> I'd snog and marry her. Just, is that what game we're playing here? Yeah, we have to just sit here and just go, shag, shag, two points, I am her. I dress like this because I think it looks good. What? Snap it and I love attention. She loves attention, apparently. Surely would, not. I would no. never have guessed that. It's like a prom dress. Year six leavers. Wow. I'm getting the um, word. Why has your mind gone there? That's, I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> because it would be rogue if you took that to year six leavers. Oh, I think it'd be more than rogue. <laughs> <laughs> if I put the body for it, I might as well. <laughs> We were already Jesus Christ quite alternative when we met. Since we've been together, we've encouraged each other. She's a hell of a pair of eyebrows, though. I'm not calling on their eyebrows. I'm not allowed to comment on her eyebrows. I don't think it's fair to. It's not fair to. She made them look like that. She could have been born that way. She was not born with brackets for eyebrows. I'm a space robot from a different planet. I'm trying to fit in, but I don't do it very well. You're not trying to fit in, are you, though? Because, I mean, like, if I was trying to fit in, right, I'd go down to the pub, I'd put on mm. a football shirt. And I chat racial slurs at people. <laughs> that is how you fit in. <laughs> the longest Stacey's ever taken to get ready is two days. Two days? Do you eat and drink? How do you take two days to get ready? You don't sleep in a cryo chamber. Surely overnight, you'd so be like, we've been out, we've done it. Takes holiday so she can get ready for a night out. Watch and learn, Frost. I'll be asking, do men want to snog? Marry or avoid tonight's girls. That is mental they got away with that back in the day. Could you imagine a TV show trying to do that now? Just producers go out to people in the street. Would you recommend? If any of it comes back with a more than like 5% avoid rate, then that's just actually fabricated because they're men. <laughs> they're like dogs. Dogs yeah. after meat. They'll eat anything. Dead or alive. Ooh. Oh, maybe not. Tonight, three girls and one boy will step into pod. My custom characters loading into the next cutscene. It's like a house that you randomly generate on Sims. Neo from the Matrix if he never left. Neo if he wasn't actually in the Matrix <laughs> and the pill that he was offered was just a pure tab of acid. <laughs> Our first girl is Heather from Liverpool. Now, she aspires to be a certain celebrity. No pod points for getting home. All right, who do you reckon it's going to be? Like Paris Hilton or something? Martin Luther King, I think. Oh, that would be a very different show. <laughs> Quick, get the makeup off! I yeah. really need a makeup <laughs> now! Eighteen! From Liverpool. Wow. That's even worse. <laughs> I am Pod. I don't know who that is. I don't know what celebrity that could possibly be. Are we sure it's not Martin Luther King? <laughs> How much fake tan becomes racist? We're getting close, aren't we? What are you wearing? <laughs> These are just felt across my chest. Yeah, what are you wearing? It's Nothing, like, apparently. It's like Drake from Uncharted if you didn't have a shirt on. I hesitate to ask, Heather, but who is your style icon? Um, Josie Marsh. Who? 
Oh. oh, do you know who Jenny Marsh is? No. Oh, yeah, she's just like well known for endeavouring in a uh, fake bosom. Pod is concerned about Ms. Marsh's understanding of camouflage. We can clearly see her. I can see more than just her, I can see everything. And her bullets. Wait, what? Bullets? The thing is, it's a robot, so can it get away with it? Check out the bullets are there on old magazine. Who do you reckon programmed the voice of the robot? Do you reckon it was a man or a woman? Man. Gotta be a man. This whole thing was produced by a man. What we should do, we should get a load of girl, young girls. They're all tight enough, and then they've got to strip everything off. If someone's gone, is that, how are we gonna make that okay? It could be presented by something that Tony Stark would make. <laughs> Have you ever met Jodie Marsh? Yeah, I met her at a book signing, and that's clever. She wrote her own book, and um... that is clever. That's very clever. I mean, it's hardly J.K. Rowling, I could imagine. Can you type in Jodie Marsh book and okay, see what comes let's up? Let's see what we get. I guarantee it's a New York Times bestseller. What book isn't? Jodie Marsh book, Keeping It Real by Jodie Marsh. Isn't that ironic? Selling for two pound ninety nine, used on eBay currently. You get it in paperback. Wow. Oh, the cover's there. cheaper than the paperback. Harder to burn, I would imagine. <laughs> I've already started writing my autobiography and I'm dead young, but I can just carry it on. The thing is about autobiographies, you have to be like famous to have one of those. Also, you have to actually be doing something with your life. Yeah, you can't write an autobiography about how you're writing an autobiography. It doesn't really work that way. But called? It's called Ups, Downs and Wishes. Why? Because it's got like all the ups in my life and all the downs and all my wishes. <laughs> Makes sense. Clever. Very smart. Just ups, downs and wishes. Why? Because it's got all my ups, my downs and my wishes. That, that would do it. Pippa, it is now time for your public analysis. We asked men. We just call these videos public analysis. Did you hear it when we asked men? <laughs> Get some women involved. Women don't like women. That's not how it works. No, this was what, 2004? That was not invented back then. I would avoid that she's very <laughs> orange in the face. Wow. Mmm, citrusy. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't really look like my type of girl. Avoid her. Avoid her. Full stop. <laughs> that's savage. If you had a full stop on a text, it hurts. In real life, that's even worse. Why doesn't she get to do the same thing to these men? Yeah, she, she just claps back. Oi, question. you're ugly too, you prick. 90% of people said they would avoid you. Jesus Christ, this show's brutal, man. 10% would snug and marry, though. Heather. Pod is concerned that your choice of clothing is a little too little. I don't know. And you need my express makeover. What do you reckon they're gonna do? Uh, strip her clean and start fresh. Strip her skin from her bone. Let the makeover commence. Wow, that's a different person. She looks like she's a Mormon now. <laughs> Why don't they put her in midsummer? She went from buying Jodie Marsh's autobiography to just like reading poetry. Previously, 90% of men said they would avoid you. Let's see what they think now. 100%. Yeah, <laughs> it just goes <laughs> up. You are unsavable. We can't help you. No one can. You're <laughs> fucked, woman. I think she looks a uh, really nice girl. Very homely, friendly, my sort of girl. I think it'd be snog because she's got great eyes. That's snog her, yeah. Give her a good snog. What a weird thing to agree to do. <laughs> I've got these women for you to rate, and you go, Yeah, man, bring it on. I like that they rate them, and then the camera's carrying on rolling, so they feel like they should say more. I hold her hand, and I, like, oh, and my hand the camera's still, still rolling. Still rolling. And, and, uh, oh, and uh, I, oh, I give her ears. This is some good stuff, carry on. 90% of men said they would now snog you. Ooh. Some would still avoid. What emotion are you registering? Um, I think people like me better when I look like this. It's not an emotion. A light pink gloss is all you need to create a subtle daytime look. When wearing a pretty floral dress, use chunky accessories to prevent it looking too girly. Now you are a natural beauty, what would you, you say to that down? Don't think this applies to me, to be honest, George. Chunky accessories when wearing a summer dress. That's where I've been going wrong. My work here is done. Goodbye. Bye. Cheers, Hev. Nice one, love. <laughs> Snog. I'll just say snog to every woman that appears on the screen. Is that how this works? That one, snog. <laughs> and the one on the back, snog. Marry. Both of them. Bank. God. <laughs> God, I can get so much done with those two. Jesus. Wow, she looks stunning. Snog. So, stop. You can't just say that about every woman who appears of on the screen. Of This song playing. Um, oh. This song playing with the caption Ipswich England Saturday, it just seems like it's a bit of a different vibe, really. <laughs> Not gonna lie. 
<laughs> you tie it up like in a ponytail. She looks like she's got stubble. She's got so many piercings around her mouth. Like, let's say I walked past that shop with a comedically large magnet. How fucked are they? Well, they can stick towards the window. <laughs> I like a lot of studs. He'll love us then. Studs. Shut up. And collars, especially big, spiked, chunky collars. I love my collars. The more on my neck, the better. Hmm. Struck me as that sort of person. I thought he was a floral dress kind of guy. Soft boy aesthetic, you know. <laughs> Uh, I was three months old when I got my first ears pierced. Three months old? So this wasn't your choice then? If somebody chopped one of my fingers off when I was one years old, I wouldn't spend the rest of my life chopping the rest off. Do you reckon that one was at four months old? The little bridge thing. Got one for each birthday. We get funny looks wherever we go. I think people automatically assume that we're going to be nasty people. Yes. That we're going to just start fights, start shouting at you for no reason. Or we smell. See, I don't think that. I think they would be really nice people. Most of the people I met who dress kind of alternative are quite nice people. Or they are criminals. Yeah, it's not snog Mary Boyd now, it's just nice or criminal. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine if that was a show? Can a snog actually happen between them? Yeah, wouldn't you get hooked in? Oh, oh sorry. Oh god, we've been caught again. Oh god, um, is that yours? Is, is it mine? You can spot them from a mile off, the ones who are gonna go. The ones that have been talking about you before you've kind of reached them. You can spot them from a mile off. They can spot them from a mile off. They've been dipped in purple paint. To be fair, if they walk into a CEX, you wouldn't be able to kind no, of exactly. tell the difference. So. If we walk in, I'd feel underdressed. Age. I think we found out nice or criminal. It's legal, but... Should it be? I wouldn't endeavour. That really sums it all up to me. <laughs> oh, okay, no worries then. It's normal there. Yeah, uh, okay, just the culture. I am Pod, the personal overhaul device. Hello, Pod. Hello, Pod. What do people call you in the street? Sorry, joking. No, we don't mean that. It's comedy. It's they comedy. No, they normally say police. My favourite is funeral. People call you a funeral? What a sentence that is. Funeral! Funeral! Just shouting an event at them. Wedding! Emily, has your husband ever bought you a piercing? Husband? They're married. Which means Unless they met and got married within like a year, she would have been less than 18. Look, we're not, we're not going to jump to conclusions here, but you guys work incredibly quickly. I mean, oh. hey, they might be in love, man. I don't think that's really helping your court case. <laughs> Emily, what quality does the perfect man need to have apart from the ability to open a tin with his face? <laughs> that's incredible. I love that. Yes. Go pod. Pod's just a commentary channel. Got to be able to make me laugh because if you can't make me laugh, then uh, there's trouble. <laughs> Carl. Hello. Make Emily laugh. Knickers. <laughs> you can't call him that anymore, Carl. <laughs> Emily, you have five seconds to choose a new fashion style for Carl. Okay. Jude Law, David Beckham, Brad Pitt, Will Young. What an interesting selection of people. You have these four fashion styles to choose from. This famous white man. This, this famous, famous white, white man. man. This, this famous, famous white, white man. man. Oh, this famous white man. Brad Pitt. Thank you, Emily. <laughs> Carl. He's halfway there anyway. God, it looks just like him. <laughs> if he could become Brad Pitt, we'd make Brad Pitt him. You have five seconds to choose a new hair colour for Emily. Golden ash blonde, dark chocolate, warm copper, mahogany brown. Where's monster green? I want monster green. Now choose a new fashion style for Emily. Kira Knightley, Maggie Gyllenhaal, Selma Blair, Kirsten Dunst. These are all people who were in the movies at the time that came out. Nice bit of diversity there as well, still. Uh, Kirsten Dunst. Carl and Emily. Brad Pitt and Kirsten Dunst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. There you go. Wow, Imagine they're walking down the red carpet together. It is time for your deep cleanse. Remove all of your jewellery. Does that include the collars? Correct. All of your jewellery. OK. Do you need a magnet? No. How about an Allen key? <laughs> nice pod, I like it. We don't need to say anything. No, pod can just do our job for us. Gotcha. Well done, Carl. I'm done. He looks like he's been hit with a machine gun. He's built like SpongeBob now. <laughs> <laughs> do we have to wear the head things, Pop? Yes. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Yes. Is that better? Much better. And now put this bag over your head. Make under, complete. Done. Finished. <laughs> Go out to dinner like that. How are you feeling? 
nervous now. Trust in pod. Okay. Let the make under commence. Fuck me, look at this for the Peaky Blinders! What's happened? What have they done? I don't understand, that's not what he asked for. You've not met the brief there, he said Brad Pitt. It's all of a twist. Please sir, can I have some more? Piercings. <laughs> Carl, can you guess whose celebrity style Emily chose for you? All of the twist. Chai from Charlie the Chocolate Factory. Every chimney sweep ever. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt? Yeah, I wish. Whatever. <laughs> He's a minger. He's a minger? Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt's quite a good looking man, I'd say. Brad Pitt. No, nah, mate, you minger. Brad shit. <laughs> if you were to go to a posh restaurant now, do you think they'd let you in? Jesus Christ. That's a hell of a double date, that, isn't it? Imagine yeah. rocking up and seeing those two sat at a table each side of Nando's. The make under process is complete. Natural beauty has been achieved. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you, Pod. Bye bye. They go into the darkness never to be seen again. What a show. Well, there we go. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a little like. Give Alex a little subscribe. You probably have already done that already. So they'll be cool if you can. If you, if you haven't, that'd be, that'd be sick. I need them. Let us know what you want us to watch in the future. Yeah. If you want us to watch anything. Or if you want me to delete the account, I could do that too. We'll do that as well. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye.